This is a card spring, and it's an iconic car flourish in which you shoot cards from one end to the other. I have never attempted a card trick in my entire life, and actually, I don't even know how to hold cards properly. But I'm really curious to see how long it's gonna take me to learn how to card spring starting from now. Alright. I tried intuitively for about 30 minutes, but it didn't work out. I just keep throwing cards everywhere, and I quickly realized that the card spring is actually harder than it seems. Maybe if I try like this... My accuracy right now is not existent. Like... I kept practicing, but after about one hour, nothing really changed. So I decided to do some research, and after a few minutes, I understood what I was doing wrong. The grip, which is the technique you use to hold the deck in your hand, is the absolute key to master the card spring. I was holding the deck in a way to bend the cards towards the ground, because that's what felt intuitive to me. But actually, you need to do the opposite. I'm holding the deck with my dominant hand, other people prefer to stop the cards with the dominant hand, but in general, you should do what feels more comfortable. The deck needs to be vertical in your hand, your thumb on its bottom, and the rest of the fingers on top of the cards. It still looks weird to me. But I mean, if you think about it, by bending the deck this way, you are building up tension inside the cards. And by slowly releasing your thumb, you're allowing the cards to release this tension and shoot off your hand. That's better than before. This is extremely satisfying. And the sound, the sound the cards make is beautiful. Maybe if I use less cards, it's easier. I really need to learn how many cards I shoot off the deck, because right now it can be one, or it can be half the deck. It's completely random. I have been practicing the entire day, but the only way I can shoot the cards off my hand right now is just in little bursts. My goal is to have a really fluid and consistent spring. Anyways, probably you can already imagine that, but the hardest part of this process is by far picking up the cards off the ground. So, I'm getting better, but I still can't achieve a full, consistent, fluid card spring. I found online that it could be because I still haven't developed enough muscle memory, really useful to keep a constant pressure with your thumb on the cards during the spring. So I kept trying, but after another 40 minutes of practice, I was pretty stuck. So I decided to try a different grip technique. Instead of keeping my thumb on the bottom of the deck, I want to try to hold the cards from the corners. The overall technique is not gonna change. I still have to squeeze the cards and then shoot them off by shifting my thumb. It seems that I have more control like this. It's definitely better. Another really important thing is the technique you use to block the cards with the other hand, which in my case is the left hand. Your hand needs to become a sort of trap for the cards. And I personally find this position very effective. So not like this, not like this, but this. One thing I just discovered, it might seem that it doesn't make any sense, but if you try, trust me, you will understand. I was pushing with my index and my thumb at the same time, applying a lot of pressure to the cards. In fact, they were like bending a lot, but it's actually way better if you just think about pushing with the index and sliding the thumb. Trust me, it's way better and it's way easier to shoot off the cards. Finally, I'm getting better at this, and my car spring is starting to look pretty smooth.
I almost don't throw cards around anymore, which is absolutely great. The only problem is that my hands are still very close together. And the more you separate your hands during the car spring, the better the car spring is gonna look. But every single time I try to do that, my curiosity simply vanishes. Anyways, I started trying. And after watching other people that are able to do it, I understood what is the secret. It would be really difficult to start shooting the cars when your hands are separate. Instead, you need to start shooting the cars when your hands are close together, and then slowly, you need to separate them. And when your deck is about to end, you need to bring your hands close together once again. That's the theory. I really don't understand how fast should they be. I just have to practice until it clicks. I'm sure it's gonna click. Probably tomorrow. Today I'm gonna show you my absolute best to get that good looking big car spring. I know this means that probably I'm gonna start showing cars around the house once again. But I guess that's the price to pay. Let's do this. I'm learning that the amount of pressure you apply to the deck is extremely important to get great results. If I squeeze too much, then the cards have a lot of tension inside and they shoot off the deck really fast. And this makes everything really hard to control. Instead, if I don't apply enough pressure, the cards have too little tension inside and they simply fall off the deck. Obviously, the more you practice, the more you understand the perfect amount of pressure you need to apply. Not too much, not too little. It took me eight hours and thousands of cards picking up off the ground, but finally I started to get good results. I lost just two. And after another 40 minutes, I finally got it. I can do it wider. Then the more I practiced, the more my car spring started to get consistent and smooth. And the effect it makes when you get it right looks really, really good, especially in slow motion. In three days I went from this to this. And I am absolutely sure you could do it too. So if you have nothing to do these days, you should give it a try. Anyways, so that the community is growing. Thank you very much to every single person behind this number. On this channel, I try to learn new skills every week. If you like this content, check out more videos. Maybe you like them. See you next week.